How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for us. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. Man, okay, I don't even know how to do this review because I don't even know where to start. I mean, I just want to give my general thoughts on this movie because, man, there's a lot to go over. And honestly, I just, <laughs> this movie, like, fucked me up a little because it was terrifying. It was so scary. And I don't even know if it was just scared, like, I was scared by it or, or just, I don't, I don't even know because I couldn't even sleep last night and... Man, I this movie was really scary, dude. Um, I don't even know, man. I mean, I guess I will go into some spoilers. So this will be a spoiler review. So I'll warn you guys right off the bat because there's some major spoilers. So please don't watch this if you have not seen the movie. Watch the movie. I recommend it. Though I do have some issues with it. Uh, but basically, I, I, I liked the film overall. You know, it, it wasn't bad. You know, it really made me think when I came out of the movie theater. I was like, well, that was interesting. Um, Jordan Peele's directing was great in this. The cinematography and everything like that was fantastic for the most part. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the main issue I have, and I don't know if I can blame Jordan Peele for this, but the dialogue and the writing sometimes wasn't the strongest. I mean, most of the time it was, but like sometimes I just felt like, okay, that joke shouldn't have been there. That line shouldn't have been there. They didn't need to say that. And I was just like, eh, I don't know. That it just felt kind of weird sometimes with that. But again, that's my opinion. I don't know. Um, uh, but other than that, you know, the, the general directing of this entire film was really, really good. And I really liked the idea of this film overall. It was very interesting to think about. And Jordan Peele, again, he knows how to build suspense. He knows how to build on horror and make a creepy atmosphere. And at the beginning of this film, I will, I will talk about the third act, which a lot of people have issues with the final act of the film, the third act. Um, Yeah, it's it's really, it's there's some issues I have with it. And... I'll get into them, but basically, the first half when it's like a home invasion movie, and I heard Sean Chandler talk about this, like, this movie works good as a home invasion movie when the other people um, are trying to get into the house, and it's like really scary, and they're like, oh no, where are they, and everyone's like cuddled in one room, and they're like, they could be anywhere, and that shit's terrifying, that's the really scary part of this film, and probably the most scary part of it all, and there's a lot of mystery going on, it's very much like Get Out, but in my opinion, I think it's scarier than Get Out just because I feel like Get Out was a bit tamed compared to this. I mean, yeah, Get Out was scary, but I feel like Get Out was more of like a psychological horror film. And you could say that with this one, but there's just a lot of jump scares also with this one. But they didn't really get me, surprisingly. So that's another nitpick I have. Some of the jump scares don't really work, and I don't really like ju jump scares. So I suggest just going for the creepy atmosphere like they usually do. And yeah, so it works well as a home invasion film when the family is trying to get inside their house and they don't know and it's just like survival. They have to survive and get out of this situation and run away from them, basically. That shit's really exciting. But then at the end, we kind of have the mystery unraveled and it's a bit of a twist. You know, they do set it up towards the uh, at, at the beginning, but you're like, okay, what does that mean? You know, we get this opening with, there's a bunch of sewers and tunnels underneath the United States and uh, none of them have you, so what's under there, basically? And then we see these bunnies at the beginning beginning and they're all like in these cages and we're like whoa what the fuck's going on and we do get unveiled and basically there's this underground place because the main character she sees herself in this like mirror maze at a carnival and there's this underground area that's like deep underground and there's these tunnels where basically there's clones of every single person in the united states yeah that's my issue i feel like it would have worked much better if it was just clones of these of this family but it's clones of every single person and it becomes like a, a post-apocalyptic film and i'm like what the fuck i was not expecting that it, it was a bit of a twist and i was like i don't know how i entirely feel about that because now it's like a, an apocalypse this is some walking dead type shit because 
like all these people are dead and now the clones which i'm assuming they're clones again they don't really go into too much detail which i'm a bit i don't know jordan peele he said he likes to keep his movies open-ended open for interpretation i hate that shit i really wish that there was just definitive answers um to a lot of the stuff we don't know how these clones were created that bothers me a little bit but now I do want to cover the other plot twist, which was completely unnecessary in my opinion. The main character, Lupita Nyong'o's character, I forget her name, I think it's Addie or something. Basically, when she's in the mirror maze at the carnival at the very beginning, we don't see exactly what happens. So the other person that the original, I'm just going to call her Addie, I don't know if that's her name, but <laughs> I, I, I think it is, I don't know. Basically, the other person like strangles her and like knocks her out and brings her down to the underground place. And basically, that person becomes the main character if you've seen the film it's a bit hard to explain but apparently the main focus uh the main character was not the real character who we thought she was if that makes any sense again if you've seen the film you know what i'm talking about but yeah those are really all my negatives i thought the writing for the dialogue was a bit eh, hit or miss um and then i think the ending and the plot twists they didn't need to happen and there's a lot of just I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions, but again, that's Jordan Peele's way of directing and making films, I suppose. But I guess let me hear your thoughts on this film. It's very divisive. A lot of people hate this film. A lot of people like it. Let me hear your thoughts. At the end of the day, I recommend if you like to get out. But if you like this video, guys, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Boom. <laughs>